Firstly, I want to congratulate um, all of the finalists for getting to this stage. Um, you should be very proud of yourselves. It's a fantastic achievement, so well done. I know last year I felt honoured and even humbled to have even been shortlisted for such a prestigious award, and I know how scary the interview process is, so again, well done. It certainly tests your nerves. Um, so since winning the award last year, um, the past year for me has absolutely flown by. Um, shortly after winning, I received um, a GEM award where I work at NHS Nottinghamshire County as the chairman's recognition for my, for my national award. Um, and I've been given fantastic speaking opportunities uh, to speak at PA and DA conferences in Liverpool and Dubai, which I must say is um, a fantastic opportunity, but when you're used to putting presentations together for other people to deliver, when you've got to put, put together an hour-long workshop to, de uh, to deliver to 50 top PAs, it's quite a daunting experience, but quite exhilarating once you've got through it and um, everyone enjoys it. Um, I've sat on a PA panel at an event um, called RSVPA in London, um, discussing the Kingston Business School and Global PA Network into the PA profession, which if you haven't seen is worth a good read. And I was also invited to be guest speaker at the Welsh Assembly Government's um, PA Network event in Cardiff. Um, that was last month. Um, and I've also been able to judge all of you for this year's PA of the Year Award, which was an honour. Um, and then I can't forget to mention the fantastic holiday to Monte Carlo. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> I actually um, left my boyfriend at home with the dog and took my best friend, so we had a fantastic girly holiday. It was great. <laughs> So on top of all of that, I've been uh, busy studying for a Chartered Management Institute Diploma in Management and Leadership, and I actually got the results on Tuesday and I passed, which is fantastic, so I can finally have my evenings and weekends back. But it's been great to help me in my role, um, because we have transferable skills as managers as well as you know, being assistants, um, and it will support career progression for the future. Um, I've set up an admin and PA network at NHS Notts County and I'm at the moment developing a mentoring and coaching scheme which I hope will um, be embedded in the appraisal process by the end of the year. And as well as that, I've been successfully um, accepted for the Government Equalities Office and Common Purpose About Time Public Leaders course, which involves development training and mentoring um, to enable me to apply for public board appointments. Um, and this is to help drive diversity in public appointments, ensuring equality um, and representation for all. Because at the moment, um, generally, boards are made up of Mid middle aged <laughs> white men. So um, this will ensure a greater, a greater representation of women. <laughs> a greater representation of women, people from black and minority ethnic backgrounds and people with disabilities. It will also be great to sit on a board and be able to influence decisions um, that will affect the local community and not have to take the minutes. So, as you can see, I've been uh, keeping myself busy. Um, I'm certainly ready for a holiday this year, that's for sure. Uh, but most importantly, though, this year has um, boosted... I'm, I'm a confident and driven person anyway, but it's boosted the confidence and drive I've got to champion and promote the role of the PA um, and ensure hard work is rewarded and recognised. And I'm sure all of you will want to achieve just as much in the year ahead for yourselves and for your peers as well. So my advice to you all is to make the most of every opportunity that comes along this year. And what seems like a challenge and might seem a little bit daunting to start with will only make you stronger in the long run. So grab every opportunity, enjoy it, and good luck. Thank you. Thank you.